Mark 34, trust me. It will save you. Mega Bells, man. Again, I want to say appreciate all the love, man. The comments, the suggestions, the constructive criticism. It's all well received. Um, again, I hope everybody had good holidays. Hope you had, you know, good Christmas. Brought in a new year good. Hope you got good plans for this year. You know, um, I do want to say this. Um, if y'all did, and I have been getting a lot of um, love on my last last video I dropped about the um the great ghost PAD number three the preparations the setup I did find out that um YouTube policies they don't allow you to show how you put the entire gun together so as that video did say it was a part one it might just be a part one it might not be a part two because the part two is gonna be putting the pins in this that and the other putting the lower parts kit inside but that would really be putting the joint together like so you know I guess drilling the holes shaping the frame is not or maybe I don't know I haven't received the email yet if that video the last one will get taken down so you know but again we'll see it so if y'all see that video disappear you know why I do still want to keep giving y'all some content so what I did decide to do today was um remember the seven city shark I'm gonna change the site. So I have the Vism Site Pusher tool, and that it um you know I'm gonna show y'all how you know if y'all may never have used that or if not familiar, it don't really cost too much. I think I got the whole kit between $50-70. I'm not hundred percent sure right now, but it was a big between $50-70. But I'm gonna show y'all how. And the thing is I kept the old sites on the um on the shark to show you me removing the rear sights as well as putting the new rear sights. So that's what I'm gonna do, y'all. Think mega, mega guns, think greater than, be responsible, you heard? All right, guys, so yeah. This is the Vism. Vism. Sight pusher tool, and it also gives you. It also was a kit that came with the um, the Glock tool kit, the magazine kit, and the little carry around punch tool, as well as the um, excuse me, the punch tool, as well as the um front sight changing tool. But ironically, I always seem to have issues with this. Maybe it's me. And as you can see, the puncher was here and it broke um, under not too much pressure. So again, I'm not getting paid by Visible or anything. I'm just showing you this and I'm being real with y'all. That broke on me. So I'm just showing y'all that. But they also have this, which has inside the bottom when you lift the cap the punch tool has the this way I can see has the punch tool has a channel channel remover and a channel insert, excuse me, channel insert tool and a channel remover. It has the screwdriver, flathead, Phillips head. Excuse, this is the channel remover tool, channel remover. And then it also has the front sight tool. 
this side there. So, um, oh yeah, let me show y'all that these guns are clear. Drop the mag. So what we're going to be doing, this was my second build, and as you can see, I just had some little cheap Amazon sites that, you know, glow if you put light on them for about a good two minutes if you put it under light for an hour go for about two minutes but then I saw these fiber optic cheap Amazon sites as well and I just thought the fiber optic looked better and they're about the same price as those other non glowing night sites so what I decided to do was order another pair of the cheap Amazon sites and let's show you what they come with. Let me just go ahead and move this stuff out the way. Put what I won't be using back in here. I'll just be using the front sight tool this time. And the way this works, you know you pull it down on the little Saying. There you go. So this is really cool. I'm not, I mean, you know, for the things like I say, other than what the part that broke or whatever, and you know, even though it broke, I still have another puncher and another sight tool, so it's not a big deal. So um, this is what comes with these little cheap, cheap Amazon fiber optic sights. You have the front sight with the little screw there. Have the rear sight with the little nut in it to tighten it. Nut in it to tighten it. And um, they send you this little plastic, plastic like I guess a push tool. I guess you could put your, put it along the sights and hit it with your, with the hammer tool if necessary. But we won't be needing it. I'll put that to the side. Put the sights to the side as well as that. I actually put that back in the bag. I usually keep stuff like that. I don't know why, but I do. So, let's see. Um, yeah, let me show you how the star of the show. The star of the show. Vism Sight Pusher 2. And it's pretty good. I have used it twice so far. I actually used it to put these sights put these rear sights on of the Great Goose. Let me go ahead and close it. Man, as y'all know, it's clear. Pointing in a safe direction. So yeah, I use this rear sight pusher tool to put these sights on. And again, if you guys don't know about this, again, it's not, it doesn't cost much. Again, I mean, I'm not sure, you know, what's expensive and what's not expensive. It's different compared to different people. But for me, this being $50, and I think again, like the whole kit may have been 70, something like that. But I think I did get it about myself for 50 on Amazon. Um, so yeah, it wasn't a bad deal for me. And I do, and it does work well. So I'm gonna show you a quick, simple, the basics. Um, basic, the basics of it, the basics of it, what it does is you raise this up I'll show you what you're raising. You turn this screw and it raises this part up. This part will hold your barrel, excuse me, it will hold your slide from the top while you slide it through here. Let's see. No. Okay, yeah, like I was saying before, my little man came down here wanting some little chocolate milk. Um. Yeah, like I was saying, you screw this part, that raises, and this will hold your slide. You see your slide will be coming through here, but I'm going to show y'all all of that. 
Um, let me go ahead and take this down. This is actually, your muzzle goes through from this side. Well, the muzzle will be facing this way, you feel me? It's the front of the barrel will be facing that way. So I was just showing y'all how that rises. So you take that, you turn that screw to rise it at the top. I would say turn this just to move it out the way. Then you take these and you roll the little pins or whatever to um, give the space. These will hold the slide from the side. And I'm pretty sure y'all can see that. Pretty much get a view of that. You know that this will be how it will be holding. So yeah. So, Open these up to hold your slide. And this also rises and lowers. So what you would do is, let me go ahead and take the um, recoil spring barrel out so I can get to that front sight. But yeah, what you would basically do is you take the slide, you would put it through, let me go ahead and lower it first to get it in there. See, I can just see. Slide it on through there, like such, like so. And then, what I would say you do from here, or let me pull it down some. What I would say do from here is you would then want to lift your turn knob at the bottom to raise the slide. And again, if it's not the best view, you know, like I'm, I'm get, being descriptive in the, you know, the verb, the verbiage. You feel me? <laughs> so, so yeah. Like, let me, let me go ahead and move the camera. Give me a second. Okay, let's see. Can y'all see that? Can y'all get a good view of that? All right. Yeah, it looks like better lighting there. So what it is is, you can see I'm gonna turn it to the front because the slide is locked in there now. But as you can see. And this is still up. So boom. You get your sight, you get your slide in there. You raise, you turn the knob to raise it to where you see how this, this is what pushes the sights when you turn this. So you have these two tighten holding it from the back got this holding it from the bottom and then this knob as you turn holds it from the top so once you have it all like that and i'm just going to sit it on top of this so y'all can get a better view then once you have it there turn oh you know what I didn't do. Before you start doing that, it would be a better idea to loosen the little bolt that tightens the sights as well. It's about to do. It's about to do some damage to my slide there. You understand me? And these little, um, small little hex wrenches, they usually come with, they came with every set of sights I've ordered so far. So, go ahead and loosen that. That's been loosened. You almost did something terrible there, y'all. Yeah? I noticed something that I did wrong. So this um, this thing, it comes with the little bumpers, I guess, for the side. Some have angles and some are flat. I put the angle ones up there and I put them up there the wrong way. So I right, don't, don't mind <laughs> But let's see if we can go ahead and get these sights moving. Turn. Let me see that. 
also want to be my best man. Is a turn. My sides just slide out. Like they're nicely lubricated. Pause just because I feel like, you know, it needs to be thrown in there, you know? But, that's the Glock Sight Pusher Sight Removal. You can see it, it'll come all the way. Very simple. I mean, I feel it's very worth the the price. You know, 50, 70 is, is worth it. So, boom. Now I'm gonna show you how me putting the other ones, the new ones on. Okay, now I have it all set up with the new rear sights, and they're ready to be ready to slide on. So here we go. I'm sort of what I did to take them off. aggressive when it comes to putting them on, you know? getting them to the middle what I usually do is once I get them to where I think is about the midpoint I raise this and that way you can look down the barrel you can look down the slide to see you know uh, I guess I should have put the front side on first huh as a matter of fact go ahead and do that real quick I'm not even gonna take the take it out the red device to take this front side off. I just forgot, but it would it does make sense to put the new front sight there and I'm using that to line up the rear sights, you know that does make sense. So go ahead and get that off. This thing is magnetized at the end so it should hold the screw. Save. All my gun parts I do keep. You know, you never know when you might need something again. Or, you know, so. It's always good to keep all your old accessories or replacements. Keep the old ones, you never know. At least that's what I do. And, uh, and I'll be honest with you, when these are on the gun, like how they are on this one, I mean, they're not bad. To be some little $30, $30 sites off Amazon, they're not bad. And they come quick. They can... Something I hate doing, dropping these little screws, but luckily I'm on the floor that you can see things on pretty well. But let's go ahead and get this screw in here. And I was having trouble when I put it on, when I put these sights on this one, especially the front sight, the way it is, with this sight, the little hole, the little notch at the bottom of the sight, 
y'all can see that, the little notch, the bottom of the sight, that fits inside the hole of the, um, you know, the front of the, the front of the slide. But these sights, it's meant for you to put it on top so it's like, it's raised a little bit. If y'all can see, see that? So it's raised a little bit. And I'm trying to, I was trying to get it in the hole, man. I was doing that thing, I was doing that for so long. Frustrated myself for a second there. All right, now let's get this thing. I'm not so much trying to show this to y'all because you know changing front sights is pretty much it's nothing too difficult about it. Let's just get that screw in the right spot. Got it already. Early like a Philly brother. <laughs> Early like a Philly. Y'all see, see how I got one, and it came from Amazon, it came like this, so one, maybe it was Amazon's fault, I ain't gonna blame Dizzy, but I'm just being all the way honest with everything I purchased, you know, this, oh, wrong way, I just touched it the wrong way, okay, that looks about even from the back, so let's raise this. Oh, my front side is not tight either. Okay. Let me go ahead and tighten that front side real quick. It's not tight enough. I'm going to be trying to get a gauge of the rear side. So I'm just showing y'all what I'm doing from the camera, but I really can't. Yeah, that is basically the Vism Glock Sight Pusher Tool. As you just saw, it removes sights and puts sights on. It really don't take that much time. It's real simple. Simple setup, very nice little piece of equipment they made. You know, like I was saying, it comes with the um, different little bumpers. But yeah, these are the little bumpers I was talking about. You see, these are two flat ones. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and put these up here. I guess the curved ones off if you have a slide that has to be that happens to be curved, like the Canic slides are curved, you know, the SIG slides have a little curve. So I guess that's what those curves are for. So I'll be changing these out tonight, putting these up there. But for the basics, that is the Vism Glock Sight Pusher Tool in action. I'm gonna put my slide back together. I'm gonna go around the spring barrel and spring assembly back in. Now look at it. Tool number three, joy. So yeah, yeah. That's the Glock Sight Pusher tool. I'm just checking them. And yeah, cheap fiber optic sights on Amazon. It's like 29, 27, 29, something like that. So yeah, yeah. Until next time, and um, the next video will probably be me taking this to the range for its first shots. You know. for his first shots. We'll see you my snap catch, you know. But, but yeah, what I do like about these sights, you know, they made them to where when you have your RMR cover, they're made to come over the cover. So that's what I thought was kind of cool about them. And of course, when I get the RMR, they will have to be Placed, but if I even plan to use rear sights, because I really don't do too much co witnessing personally, I just use the dot. And some ironic, I've learned to use like you know how they say you know co witness in case your dot runs out, or the battery dies, or whatever, and you when you need it most. But I'm gonna tell you what's weird for me is um, I practice, I did this with the with my Canic TP9, I use the um. I would turn the the red dot off. I would get used to using my red dot just looking through the window without the dot even being on and looking at the out the window through the front to the front sight and getting my aim with that. So, you know, if necessary, I'm cool with just doing that. Oh, so they sent me a joint with a the thing that's not even big enough for the but luckily I have something for that. So yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna hold y'all up. I was just coming here to show y'all the Vism Block Sight Pusher Tool, the kit, what came with it and all of that. So yeah, yeah, until next time, think mega, think greater than, mega guns, be responsible, you heard?